The dangers of refusing dental x-rays. Doctor, my crown came off. Can you put it back on? Yes, but the tooth is too short. You need a new crown, and I need an x-ray to see the roots. I don't want an x-ray. I don't want the exposure. How long has it been since you last had x-rays? Ten years. Can you just put the crown back on today? Yes, but it won't last, and you will need to be very careful. We can schedule a time to remake the crown. We can take the x-ray then. The patient returns and reluctantly agrees to have x-rays taken. One x-ray looks normal, except for the top tooth. The other x-ray shows a problem with the wisdom tooth behind the crown. The x-ray reveals that something is wrong around the wisdom tooth. We need to take a 3D scan or a panoramic x-ray. Okay, but I want the lowest exposure. Take the panoramic x-ray. The panoramic x-ray reveals a very large cyst behind the wisdom tooth. This looks like a serious problem, but the panoramic image is only a two-dimensional image. Now we need to take a 3D cone beam scan to see just how big the problem is. There is a large area of bone destruction. It's about the size of a silver dollar. And the 3D scan shows that it's about the width of five silver dollars stacked together. Can you request the previous x-rays so I can see if there was a problem back then and compare the images? Yes, I had x-rays for orthodontic screening 10 years ago. The previous cephalometric x-ray is inconclusive. However, the panoramic x-ray showed the beginning stages of the lesion. Now, 10 years later, it has grown substantially. This problem was without symptoms, but it could lead to a systemic infection, permanent jaw numbness, swelling or pain, or a catastrophic jaw fracture. You don't want to have this problem, but if you have it, you want me to find it. Checkup and screening x-rays are very important to maintain your dental and general health.